Next month will mark an anniversary one Georgetown family would rather not celebrate. It's the day a father accidentally backed over his four year old daughter with a lawnmower. Tonight, for the first time, Russell and Samantha Eddington are talking only to WKYT about putting the accident behind them and moving forward by trying to help other families avoid a reality like theirs. Come on, Dad. Like most six year olds, Katie Eddington would rather choose play over schoolwork. Her giggles, a sign life is good. Hi. <laughs> Nearly two years ago, this was Katie. She spent a month in the hospital with 16 surgeries and more to follow. It happened really fast. Just turned around and, you know, I heard, I heard her before I felt her. It's something Russell Eddington never thought would happen. When I started cutting grass, everybody was inside. Only Katie wasn't. She snuck outside while her father was mowing the grass. Samantha Eddington remembers getting the hysterical phone call letting her know the unthinkable had happened. And that's when they said um, that they had just left with her and that she'd been backed over by a lawnmower. Katie was rushed to UK Medical Center in serious condition. Her right leg badly damaged. Samantha Eddington, a nurse by trade, wasn't prepared for what she saw. She'd lost a lot of skin. A lot of tissue, lost some of her um, quad muscle. She lost most of her kneecap. Doctors saved Katie's leg, and while it is different, it's something that she doesn't mind. When she went to kindergarten, she wanted to show it off. Her attitude helped pull her family together after a terrible accident threatened to tear it apart. Once I realized that we weren't going to be able to keep her down, um, then I realized that we couldn't stay down. In the last year, Katie has maintained a pretty normal life, but there are some limits. I want to see her ride a bike. I want to see her run. And I want her to be done with surgeries. The Academy of American Pediatrics says 17,000 children require emergency care every year because of lawn mowing accidents. As Katie healed, so did her parents. Russell still carries the weight of what happened, but now they're moving forward in hopes of helping others. I did not see my child. Recently, Russell and Katie joined 12 other families to take part in a national public service announcement warning of the dangers of mowing accidents. If we could help one family not have to go through all this, would be would be well worth it for me. In meeting with other Limbs Matter participants, the Eddingtons realized they weren't alone. Each family had their own story to tell and message to convey to other parents. We're just really regular people. So that's my biggest message is not to think this can't happen to you. Despite being so young, Katie has never let her injury stop her. Kate's amazing. Their family bond was nearly broken, but a little girl spirit has given this family faith that life does go on with every next step. And mm. the next step for Katie is a big one. She and her parents have decided to have surgery to take her leg and then fit it with a prosthetic so she'll have a better quality of life. And to see that full Limbs Matter PSA and to learn more about the Katie Bug GoFundMe page, we have all of that for you on WKYT.com. Wow. Of course, this is the time of year when people are out mowing and kids are outside. Mm -hmm. So what's the number one thing these parents say that people should, should know about all of this. Sam, it sounds so simple. Keep your kids inside. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Eddington family thought they were doing. Sure. Russell said everyone was told to stay inside. She snuck outside. It took one moment. They think she may have tripped and fallen. Mm -hmm. They're not sure. But it's very simple. Make sure everybody's inside and that there's maybe someone there watching them that they can't get outside. And just be vigilant when you're out there on the mower and yeah. a push mower as well. Sure. Oh, well, bless her and that yeah. family. And thank, thank you to them for speaking yeah. out and just trying to help others two years later now. All right. Thanks, Amber. Mm -hmm.